Hey what's up everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This video will be an in-depth walkthrough where I'll demonstrate step by step how to fully set up LastPass and take advantage of its most valuable features. You'll have complete confidence using LastPass to manage passwords seamlessly and boost your overall online security. LastPass is the best password manager available because it combines ease of use with extreme security. All that while syncing flawlessly across all your devices. So if you want your passwords to be in the safest place possible and secure your online accounts, this video tutorial is perfect for you. Let's dive right in. The first step is to create your totally free LastPass account. Go to lastpass.com in your browser and click the bright blue sign up button. You're gonna be asked to enter your valid email address and also create a strong master password. This master password is incredibly important as it's the main key to access your LastPass account. I strongly recommend making it a long random passphrase that's easy for you to remember, but difficult for anyone else to guess. You can use the password strength checker to validate your master password security. Make sure it's on green and says good or excellent. Once you have it, confirm your master password, double check it as this can't be recovered if forgotten. And that's it, click sign up and you now have a 100% free LastPass account created that you can immediately start using. The second step is to thoroughly install and set up LastPass across all your computers. On your Windows or your Mac, download and install the LastPass browser extension for Chrome, Firefox and other browsers. Once installed, log into the extension with your new LastPass username and the master password. You can also grab the LastPass smartphone app for iOS and Android. You can download it from the App Store and then log into the mobile app using that same username and master password. You can enable seamless autofill of passwords, but you will need to enable some permissions in your device settings. And you can also toggle autofill within the Last Password app. Finally, I recommend disabling any redundant built-in password managers in your mobile settings and browsers so that you prevent conflicts with LastPass. And that really covers the basic setup, so now you have LastPass ready across all of your devices. The third step is to securely import your existing passwords into your encrypted LastPass vault. The easiest option is to let LastPass save and remember passwords for new sites and apps that you log into. So whenever you're logging into anything new, LastPass will prompt you to save those credentials to your vault, just click on yes. You can also manually add passwords individually by clicking the LastPass browser icon, opening your vault and then entering credentials for any site that you already have accounts for and then click save when you're finished. In case you want to be importing passwords in bulk, you can click advanced options in the LastPass menu then choose import. And here you can import password lists from other apps like 1Password or Dashlane. You can also choose the LastPass CSV template option which lets you import from a spreadsheet or download the template. Then you fill it out with your logins and then import that completed CSV document file. And those are the basics of getting your passwords into LastPass. Use whatever combination of method works best for your own needs. Next up, we have step four, which is to add your payment cards, billing addresses, and shipping addresses into LastPass for instant autofilling during online checkout. You can start by clicking on the payment cards tab and then click on add a new item. Then fill in your card number, expiration date, CVV code, and billing details, and click save when you're done. You can repeat this process to add any credit cards, debit cards, PayPal accounts, or other payment methods that you want LastPass to remember. And you can also do the same process for addresses under the Addresses tab. Fill in your physical address, your email address, phone number, and other shipping details so LastPass can automatically autofill them at checkout. This is a really nice thing to have with LastPass as it makes your checkout very quick and easy for online shopping. Step number five is to use LastPass as an encrypted digital vault for storing and organizing sensitive documents and notes. With just a master password, you can have secure emergency access to them anywhere. Start by clicking on the secure notes tab and then add a new item. You can give it a logical name and fill in the confidential details, information, documents, etc. And then you can upload attachments here too and then click save when you're done. You can store copies of tax returns, birth certificates, contracts, and other vital documentation within your LastPass vault for easy access anywhere. 
Step number six is to thoroughly audit and fix any weak, reused, or duplicated passwords in order to significantly boost your online security. You can click on the security challenge tab and then let LastPass fully analyze all your existing passwords. It will show a score assessing your current password hygiene. This process can take some time, but it is crucial for locking down your online accounts. I recommend putting on a timer while the app is improving all of your password duplicates across your vaults. Next up on step number seven, we have enabling two-factor authentication. This puts an extra security between you and your passwords. You start by going to account settings and then the multi-factor options change enabled to yes to switch on two-factor authentication. And then next up, we want to download the LastPass Authenticator app on your mobile device. Open the app and scan the QR code displayed on your computer screen so that you can link them. You can set up a backup verification method like SMS messages in case you lose your mobile device, and then you enter your phone number to enable text confirmations. Once setup is complete, return to multi-factor options and click activate two-factor authentication. And from now on, you will need both your master password and a verification code from your mobile device so that you log in to LastPass. This adds another critically important security layer. Step number eight is designated trusted emergency contacts through LastPass's emergency access feature, which grants read-only access to your vault if you become unable to access your account for whatever reason. Click on emergency access, then give emergency access, enter LastPass account emails for your trusted emergency contacts. You can select a waiting period before emergency access activates after it's requested. This gives you time to deny access if possible. And once it's set up, emergency contacts can request access to your vault if needed. And after the waiting period passes without denial, they will have read-only access to your passwords and notes. And just like everything in LastPass, you can revoke emergency access by removing trusted users at any time. Just click on revoke access to remove their ability to view your vault. The ninth and final step is deciding on the right LastPass subscription plan for your needs and budget. The free plan covers the basics, but I recommend upgrading for the additional security and features. The premium plan adds advanced multi-factor authentication options, encrypted file storage, emergency access delegation, we have password sharing, priority tech support, and more. The family plan upgrades premium for up to six users, which is perfect for managing family passwords securely. Head over to your LastPass account to compare plans and upgrade with just a click and you can cancel or change your plan at any time. And by that, we have covered the in-depth LastPass tutorial walkthrough, account setup, and critical security best practices. We've also talked about the core features and why you should be using LastPass to securely protect your passwords. Use the link in my description so that you get LastPass downloaded on your device and protect your passwords in a proper way. If you found this video to be helpful or enjoyable to watch, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for future content similar to this one.